Nerve compressions of the upper extremity. Compression of the nerves of the upper extremity, sometimes called compressive neuropathies of the upper extremity. You got three major nerves, the under nerve, the radial nerve, and the median nerve. The ulnar nerve will give ulnar tunnel syndrome, which occurs in Grand's canal, or cubital tunnel syndrome. Radial nerve will give Wartenberg syndrome, which is a superficial radial nerve compression. Radial tunnel syndrome and posterior interosseous nerve syndrome. Compression of the median nerve can give Carpal tunnel syndrome, porinator teres syndrome, laceratus fibrosus syndrome, anterior interosseous nerve compression. Compression of the median nerve due to medial process of the humerus. So let's talk about the ulnar nerve compression. The ulnar tunnel syndrome, which is due to compression of the ulnar nerve in Guyane Canal, that usually occurs due to compression from a ganglia or a fatty tumor or an ulnar artery aneurysm or hook of the hamate injury and non-union. The cubital tunnel syndrome will affect the ulnar nerve. Causes of ulnar nerve compression at the cubital tunnel area. The most common causes is the arcade of struthers, the medial intermuscular septum, the Osborne ligament, the epineurosis of the flexor carbi and naris, the proximal flexor digitorum superficialis, and the anconius epitrochlearis. Now let's talk about causes of compression of the radial nerve. Wartenberg syndrome, the superficial sensory branch of the radial nerve, it gets compressed between the brachioradialis and the extensor carpi radialis longus. So if you have an external pressure or compression from a wristwatch, bracelet, from handcuffs or from a tight cast, you can get that syndrome. How about the radial tunnel syndrome? Radial tunnel syndrome is compression of the posterior interosseous nerve with pain only. Rule out lateral epicondylitis. It coexists in 5% of patients. The patient will have no motor or sensory changes and the AMG is not useful. Patient will complain of deep ache pain in the proximal forearm in the dorsal radial area, 3 to 5 cm distal to the lateral epicondyle. Diagnostic injection may be helpful. The posterior interosseous branch of the radial nerve could be compressed due to compression by the proximal edge of the supinator, which is called the arcade of Froch. It can also occur due to leash of Henry. It is recurrent radial vessels that fan out across the posterior interosseous nerve at the level of the radial neck. Extensor carbi radialis brevis edge, that will compress the posterior interosseous branch of the radial nerve. The distal edge of the supinator muscle can also compress the posterior interosseous nerve. Posterior interosseous nerve syndrome will give pain in the forearm and rest. There will be a weakness of finger extension and weakness of wrist extension with radial deviation of the wrist. EMG may be helpful. 
patient will have normal tenodesis test. It means the tendons are not ruptured and the weakness of extension of the fingers is due to the posterior interosseous nerve injury. Now let's go to the median nerve. You got the carpal tunnel. The median nerve is compressed at the rest by the transverse carpal ligament. And then you have the anterior interosseous branch of the median nerve can be compressed due to Gennitzer muscle, which is accessory flexor pollicis longus head. The nerve may be compressed with the deep head of the pronator teres. This is the most common cause. It may be compressed by the flexor digitorum superficialis arcade. It may be compressed by the edge of the lacertus fibrosus and compression by an enlarged bicipital bursa. The condition will result in motor deficit only and the patient will be unable to do the OK sign. Bilateral anterior interosseous nerve palsy may be associated with viral acute brachial neuritis. Watch out Martin Gruber anastomosis that will give you unusual clinical presentation. The pronator teres syndrome will affect the median nerve. These are the potential sites for entrapment of the nerve. Compression of the median nerve between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle it is the most common cause. Compression due to thickening of the bicipital aponeurosis. Compression of the nerve from the fibrous arch of the origin of the flexor digitorum superficialis. Recently, the lacertus fibrosis is being identified as a cause by itself of compression of the median nerve at the elbow. The lacertus fibrosis is the aponeurotic insertion of the biceps tendon. Supracondylar process of the humerus is rare, and there is a ligament called ligament of struthers, and the nerve gets pinched between the bone and the ligament. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.